Hello, I'm Bob Dunn, Chief of the Fullerton Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer involved shooting that occurred in the 2200 block of East Commonwealth Avenue on the evening of May 3rd, 2020. You are about to see relevant video footage and photographs, hear radio transmissions, and learn of other evidence and facts so you have a better understanding of what occurred during this incident based on what we know today. We are still in the preliminary stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of this incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. Additionally, we also withhold judgment and do not draw any conclusions about whether or not our officers acted consistent with our policies and in accordance with the law until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and footage you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or to fend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Further, the circumstances surrounding the use of force may also be disturbing. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. I'm Lieutenant John Radis. I'm gonna provide you with a brief overview of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on Sunday, May 3rd, 2020. On that date at about 9.30 p.m., a Fullerton police officer was on his way to a call for service when he noticed a gray pickup truck stopped in the 2200 block of East Commonwealth. As the officer drove past the vehicle, he could see what appeared to be some sort of altercation between two males and that both were armed with weapons, one with a knife and one with a stick. Believing that a physical altercation was about to occur and to ensure everyone's safety, the officer stopped to investigate. You will now hear the police radio traffic as the officer reported the incident to FPD dispatch. 23, I'm going to be at Lily in Commonwealth. I got a guy holding a stick and a guy with a knife. 10 4 units fall. 3 14. 10 11, 3 units go, go 3. Echo 2 and 115. 1 46. 1 45. 10 4. 24 to 134. 123, I have my gunpoint. 10-4, subject, say gunpoint. 20 to 10, turn on green, 1, zone code 4. Hey, Patrol, coming from Euclidean, Commonwealth, Virginia, units closer, you have a response code. 10-4, 125 and 126 are in route code. Well, sir, we're coming from 57-year-old, we're in route code. 125 and 126 are almost 97, they're in route code as well. 25, 97. 10 4. The officer pulled behind the truck and began giving commands to both men. Because the officer knew one of the men was armed with a large knife, a deadly weapon, he placed that male, later identified as Jesus Estrada Leon, at gunpoint. The officer ordered Mr. Leon to step away from the truck. Rather than follow the officer's directions, Mr. Leon sat in the truck and closed the door. The officer gave the male armed with a stick commands to sit on the curb. He dropped the stick, however, he failed to sit on the curb. Here is a photograph of Mr. Leone. All Fullerton Police Patrol officers are equipped with body-worn cameras. Fullerton Police Department policy requires all body-worn cameras to be worn chest level in a forward-facing position that facilitates comprehensive recording of contacts and incidents. The body-worn camera footage you are about to view is all from that perspective. It's important to keep in mind that body-worn cameras are an investigative tool, and like any device, they have limitations. Body-worn cameras do not necessarily capture everything an officer sees, just like the body-worn camera may capture something an officer does not see. Further, body-worn cameras do not have an ability to depict what an officer is feeling or experiencing during a given incident. The first officer continued to give commands until additional police officers arrived. Once additional personnel were on scene, officers gave commands to the male who was originally armed with a stick to assume a kneeling position. He complied. As this was occurring, Mr. Leone exited the truck armed with a large knife and began waving it in a threatening manner. Mr. Leone then advanced in the direction of the male and the officers. This caused the male being detained to get up rapidly and move towards several officers that were closest to him. Officers gave Mr. Leone numerous commands to get on the ground, however, he failed to comply. 
An officer attempted to stop Mr. Leone's advance by utilizing less lethal beanbag rounds. This had no effect on Mr. Leone. He continued to get closer to the officers and the male while still brandishing the large knife. At this point, an officer-involved shooting occurred. You will now see the body-worn camera footage from the first officer on scene. Step away from the vehicle, come down here. Hey, sit down right there, on the curb. Sit on the curb now. Sit on the curb now. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. I'm not gonna tell you again, get out of the vehicle, sir. Get out of the vehicle, exit the vehicle, come over here. Exit the vehicle. Exit the vehicle, come over here. One twenty-three. I have my gunpoint. Exit the vehicle. Hey, I understand. What you need? To exit the vehicle. Hey, you need to listen to me. No, negative. Not. No, you need to get out of the vehicle. You need to get out of the vehicle. You need to get out of the vehicle. You need to get out of the vehicle, sir. He has a knife. The driver of the vehicle has a knife. This guy was the one carrying the stick. Keep both your hands out of the vehicle. Keep both your hands. Keep him out of the vehicle. Hey, sir, sir, you need to calm down. He's look like he's gonna be a uh, Spanish speaker. Both of them. Okay, you need. Hey, relax, relax. Hey, relax, dude. Hey. Who's this guy right here? Who's that guy, This this guy's a a dry. When I walked up, this guy has a stick. This guy's holding a knife. He has a big butcher knife inside the vehicle. Get him out of the picture. Okay. Get him back here. Okay. Over. Okay. Over. Rotate over. Rotate over. Hey, sir. Walk over here. Walk over hey. here. Hey, stay there. Walk over here. Hey, turn around. Get over here. Turn around. Hey, get back that way. Get back that way. We're going to be facing white. Get back that way. 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 Get back that out the window where we can see that. Sir, turn the blue shirt. Put your hands on the back of your head, interlace your fingers. Drop down to your knees. Drop down to your knees. Drop down to your knees. Cross your ankle. Drop down to your knees and cross your ankles now. Keep your hands where we can see that. Keep your hands where we can see that. The guy in the vehicle has a butcher knife. Keep your hands outside the vehicle. Keep your hands up now. Keep your hands out of the vehicle. Keep both your hands out of the vehicle. Hey, drop the knife, man. Don't, hey, don't do that, man. Hey, they said to tell him to give me the key. Hey, hey, drop the yeah.
Hey, this guy, watch out for this guy. Watch out, watch out. Get out, get out, get on the ground, no! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Come over here, dog. I got beanbag. Copy. Back up. Senor. 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 Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! Drop the knife! You will now see the body-worn camera footage from the officer who deployed the beanbag munition. The footage you will view is from the time Mr. Leon exits the truck until the officer-involved shooting occurs. I got the beanbag. Three fourteen. I got the beanbag. Hey, I got beanbag. I got beanbag. Señor, 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 baja la navaja, baja la, pinta, 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 pinta. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, or hold on. I got a beanbag, I got a beanbag, it's reloaded. Where's the knife? Okay, it's on his side. Okay, señor, deja la navaja. Señor, pon tus manos en frente de usted. Manos en la cabeza, señor. Señor, pon sus manos en la cabeza. Move, move. Move, move, move. You will now see the footage from the officer who was giving commands to the male originally armed with a stick. The footage you will view is from the time Mr. Leon exits the truck until the officer involved shooting occurs. All right, you want to get him back? You want to call him back? Hey, stay in the car! Get on the ground! 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 I got beat back! Right. Come over here, dog. I got beanbag. Hey, that way. Hey, that way. Hey, that way. Hey, that Hey, that You will now see the footage from one of the officers involved in the shooting. The footage you will view is from the time Mr. Leon exits the truck until the officer involved shooting occurs. Shots fired. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! 
You will now see the body-worn camera footage from the second involved officer. The footage you will view is from the time Mr. Leone exits the truck until the officer-involved shooting occurs. Once the scene was safe, officers began rendering first aid to Mr. Leone, including performing CPR and the application of a tourniquet. Paramedic personnel arrived and continued treatment of Leone. He was transported to a local hospital where he passed away. This is the evidentiary photo of the knife located at the scene. After this incident, officers learned the man armed with a stick was a member of Mr. Leone's family. It was relayed Mr. Leone had just held the man at knife point in an attempt to carjack the truck. Mr. Leone had a lengthy criminal history, including arrests and convictions for narcotics violations, theft, robbery, and assault with a deadly weapon. At the time of this incident, he was on both parole and formal probation. Further, he had an active arrest warrant in the state of Nevada. When a critical incident such as an officer-involved shooting occurs, Three separate and comprehensive investigations are initiated. The first investigation is conducted by the Orange County District Attorney's Office, which determines if the actions of the involved officers were within the law. The second investigation examines the criminal culpability of the suspect. This incident occurred in the city of Fullerton, and as a result, Fullerton PD's Crimes Against Persons Unit will investigate any criminal conduct of the suspect prior to or during the incident. The third is an internal administrative investigation, which determines if the involved officer's actions met the high standards we hold for all our employees and to ensure they acted in accordance with department policy. Over the next several months, the Orange County District Attorney's Office and Fullerton Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident to determine whether the actions of the involved officers were both within the law and within department policy. The job of a police officer is often difficult and dangerous. Although we train and work hard to de-escalate volatile situations, officers must react, sometimes in a split second. The decision to use lethal force is not something we take lightly. It's truly tragic for all those involved. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.